<laughs> All right. So we have a seven move pyramid. Good morning. I'm going to put my tracker on right away to high intensity interval training. Okay, take a deep breath up. Exhale and then punch, punch. Take another deep breath up. Exhale, punch, punch this way. I will throw a little combination at you to start. So let me talk a little bit about the pyramid while we get into this beautiful move. Um, seven moves. Sometimes a pyramid could be five, six, seven moves, depending on how much time you have. It's a 30 second interval and we stack on. So it's 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest, and then move one and two, 30 seconds of rest, and then one, two, three. So ultimately we'll be getting to three and a half minutes of work. We're gonna do one more each side. One more. Nice, big, deep breath. Take it at your own pace. Keep these now. You just keep that twist with a little reach out. Good. We're gonna reach it up overhead, but up and over, up, up. I like to put my hand on that thigh. Good. You can go a little slower here. You can really take your time if you want. We don't have to always be at the same pace. We're gonna reach it out in front. Open up the back and you're feeling those obliques. Let's open up those feet nice and wide here because we're gonna go right into alternating taps with an alternating knee bend. Plant the feet, tap it down, tap, tap. Now you tap where you're comfortable. You have a flat back here because this is one of the moves we're gonna be doing in the pyramid is a lateral lunge. You're kind of hinged, but you're in a, um, you're bending into one knee. Other leg is straight, good. Eight, seven, six, four more. And we're gonna fold over both legs. Fold over both legs, just fold. If you don't like folding, you can be hands here on your thighs if you don't wanna go all the way down. Walk the hands out a little bit come up on the toes and the heels. So just warming up the calves, the ankles, the feet. So when, I, when you go up on the toes, I want you to think about a squat jump. So when we do a squat jump, we roll through the foot and then we soft land through the heels. That'll help you in a lot of the moves today. Relax your shoulders. If you're feeling tension in the shoulders, maybe walk your hands in a little bit. Four, three, two, one, we're gonna put our right hand on our right thigh, left hand on our left thigh and roll it up. And then just do another little flat back here or cat and cow. Take your time with these. So open up that chest as much as you want. I'll show you from the side. So I'm kind of doing a little cow and then a cat on the way up. I'm gonna add a little arm circle. Be nice and warm through the spine. You can be really dramatic here if you want. Have your moment. Such a nice day today. Happy Friday. It might not be Friday when you're watching this, but it's Friday today. One more. Roll it up. Knees up. Knee. Knee. Hug it in. You can slow it down. So I'll just preview while we're finishing up our warm up. Keep doing this and go to the end of your space. Four more, three, give me squats right here. Just down and up. So our first move is gonna be a squat curl press with a burpee, but in the beginning, you can just go to squat curl press. So I want you to go down a little lower in that squat here. And I want you to take your hands on the outside of your feet and just kind of tap you don't have to tap the floor. I'm not right now, but you're gonna ultimately be picking up those weights for your curl press and then adding a burpee option. So I want you to just get those hips a little warmer. Now hold your next one down and walk out. This is gonna be move two. I'm not gonna preview all of them. Just walk to the plank, come to your knees. Give me some push-ups here. Just knee push-ups just to get a little warm. Ooh. Last one, come to your plank, walk it in. Good, stand up, take those arms, circle them back. Good. 
four, three, two. Give me a little wide march or a football run if you wanna get that heart rate up a little bit. So in this pyramid, you're gonna hang out here for a little bit. We're doing the burpee curl press or just squat curl press. We're doing a walk out to a push up, stacking on a lateral raise to a lateral lunge, a body weight cardio that's gonna change every time or every other time, and then a renegade row, or you can do a standing option for that, and then a weighted cardio move, and then a um, push up, or I'm sorry, a sit up to three tricep overhead extensions, and I'll give you options for that one. All right, let's pick up the pace here. You're on your toes. You can take it out and in. You have 15 more seconds here. I just want you to get your heart rate up, low impact, way to get your heart rate up. One of my favorite ways to work the calves too. If this bothers you, you can always do them out in March. And time, march it out. Good. All right, one more thing before we get started. Reach that right heel forward, scoop, and go to the other side. I just thought of this would be a nice one to kind of warm up the hamstrings a little more and get those shoulders moving. So I'll show you from the side, hinging at the hip, scooping those arms. Big circle, three, two, and finish your last one. Get a drink of water and have your weight set up. In a pyramid, you don't want to have like 80 weights around you. Go through a couple of sets, okay? So I'm gonna take mostly 10s and 12s here because when, the heat, when it heats up, you're gonna wanna go maybe a little heavier sometimes or a little lighter, okay? So I just have a few sets. I think my 10s and 12s are gonna be good. I may get 115, okay? I'll get another 15. All right, so I have three sets of weights, <laughs> not 80. <laughs> All right. The first one is gonna feel like, oh, this is gonna be so easy. Not. All right, so just like I was saying, you're gonna have your weights at your side, on the floor. So your options are squat curl press or Keep the weights in your hands, squat, curl press, okay? Option three, pick up off the floor, squat, curl press, put them down, go right into the burpee. Okay, it's hard, so you don't have to do that right away, okay? I'm gonna go squat, curl press with the dumbbells on the floor for my first time. We have a long road ahead of us. Are we ready? Three, two, go. 30 seconds. Now there's no need to rush. I want you to just, oh, I didn't even do that one. So I didn't mean to put them down that time. You can, so kind of just tapping those weights down to the floor. If you're not ready for that, just keep them at your side like this. You have 10 seconds. On the curl press, try to keep your elbow down. Next time I'll add a burpee to this. Come on. You get 30 seconds of rest and time. Okay, so let's move on. 30 seconds of rest, we're gonna do that one. Then we're gonna do the walkout push-up. I'm just gonna show you. We do one push-up, punch, punch, walk it in. And then we come down and do two push-ups. Okay, punch, punch. You can jump when you walk back. You're not gonna get a ton of push-ups in, ready? Are we ready? Four, three, two, go. I'm gonna burpee. And then I'm gonna curl press. Move one, I'm just adding the burpee. If you don't like your feet narrow like me, you can have your feet wide. If this feels better for you, you have options. Come on.
Finish your last one. No ramp, no rest. Walk out. One push up. Punch, punch. Walk it in. I'm gonna add a jump, two push ups. That can be on your knees or toes. Two punches. Two, two there. You could do three. You could also stack on that squat if you want. Punch, punch. Come in and jump time. Let's move two. So if you don't like the stack on, maybe just do one. Move three, two weights. Lateral lunge, lateral raise, lateral lunge, lateral raise. Here's when it gets real. I'm gonna grab tens for that, for this round, for the lateral. Ready for one, two, and three? Woo. I'm on my feet wide for this one. Ready? Go. So I will say with your feet wider, it feels more of like a deadlift. You really have to be in your core when you're picking up weights. Okay, you could really hurt your back if you're not in your core here and in your legs. If you want to slow things down, maybe you hold your plank for a second. Nothing wrong with that. Time. Walk out. We're going to go right into it. Now, if you don't like the punches, maybe you do a shoulder tap, okay? Do two shoulder taps, walk it in, time, get your weights. Lateral lunge. Lateral raise. So my weights frame. The biggest issue here in a pyramid is being prepared for the move. That's why I try to preview and tell you what I'm using just as a guide. So try to start when I start. There's like five seconds, not even. Maybe sometimes not. Five seconds. Come on. Four, three, two, one. If you started late, end when we do. Okay, just start better next time. Move four while you're taking your rest. It's gonna be body weight cardio. It's gonna be moguls. Or Key is the arms overhead. You don't have to jump, okay? And you can do also a line tap if you don't want to twist. Are we ready? Two minutes of work. Ready? Go. Start somewhere. You don't always have to start with the burpee. Focus on each movement. Now, after this, we have that walkout push-up. You don't need any equipment for that. So you're gonna transition for that as quickly as possible because you don't need to get any weight. After that, we have the lateral lunge. Just start thinking in your head what you need. Time. When I say time, that's the end of 30 seconds. You can do the push-up on your knees and then punch, punch. I like to jump there, you don't have to. Again, you can do a reach there. On time. Woo. Lateral lunge, carry up. Starting on this other side, you don't have to do that. If you think of it, awesome. If not, don't worry about it. Just start on the same side. Doesn't matter, we're alternating. I'm gonna show you from the side. I'm going out on a slight angle and my chest is open. 
and my back is straight. I'm not letting the weights pull me forward. A lot of core when you do that lateral raise. <laughs> Don't fall forward. Last one. I didn't have time for that one. That lateral raise. Moguls. You can also be here. Or make it a lateral hop. Get your arms over your head. Look in the mirror if you have to. Oh. oh. I like my hands apart like a battle rope. Think it. Come on. Get a break after this. If you're jumping, you need your core on board. You transition with both feet, landing softly. Arms overhead. That's one time. 30 seconds. Move five. You take your break. I'm gonna use 15s here. Renegade row. You can do two climbs or two plank jacks, okay? Or you can do row, row, knee, knee, or bring the weights overhead, all right? Woo, go heavy though for this one if you can. All right, burpee curl press. Ready? Go. Now, you don't have to do the burpee every time. It's two and a half minutes of work. Make sure you plug into those heels every time. I think it's a little harder for the feet together. You're going deeper in that squat. But it's up to you, whatever you feel best. Last one, and time, walk out. Punch, punch, walk in. I'm doing the push-ups on my knees this time. You can also do explosive push-ups. There's two shoulder taps, make it your own. You're probably gonna get to three push-ups, maybe four. Time, lateral lunge. Lateral raise. You can also do one arm at a time. Ah. Especially when your heart rate's up high. Come on. Move three. You have to think a little bit too. What do we have next? Body weight cardio. Last one. Put them down. Line taps. Jump. The pink is every time. I'm showing you. Low impact. You step it in. You still use your arms, chest up. What I don't want to see is this. When you go down, try to touch that floor. It's not a drop squat, okay? At least one foot behind that imaginary dumbbell or mark in the floor. Come on, that renegade row is coming. What are you grabbing for it? Two, one, ooh, renegade. that weight right under climb climb here's the plank jack if you want it one plank jack can also be a tap out okay you can do the run of the row here just don't have your butt up in the air you can have your feet wide for the renegade row okay and then jump in, and then that way they're wide for the row. Last one, take a break. Oh. All right, move six is a weighted cardio. 
We're gonna keep it simple for the first one. Weighted skater. One hand twisting. Okay. Oh, get a drink. Three minutes of work. You can go heavier on some, go heavier. Good. Going 15s on my squat curl press. Let's see how we do. Ready? Go. Challenge yourself when you can. Go for about 15 seconds. What do we have next? Ooh, walk out. Not yet. Five seconds. Time. Walk out. You can do a reach. Reach. If you want to get more push-ups in, maybe just do one reach or one punch. I have two push-ups and I'm just going to punch one. Okay? Mix it up. I give you the freedom to kind of mix it up. Oh. And time. Lateral lunge. Lat raise. Frame. Remember what I said. If you want to do an upright row there, you can. You're still working. You can also do a front raise. Get your heart rate's up high. I'm gonna do the lateral raise. And then when we work our way back up, I'm gonna vary it. Come on, one more. All right. Get in a bear position. And run. This is your body weight cardio. You can also do an album football run. You can also have your hands on dumbbells. Get in that bear. I'm gonna tell you when to switch the lead. Notice what leg you're starting with. Switch the lead. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in. Keep your core tight. Woo, come on. Renegade Rose coming for you in four, three, two, one. Oh, that was perfect. Having the hands on the dumbbells there. So, after that move, this is so much harder. We have our weighted cardio coming. Oh, my arms are killing me. One more. A few more seconds. Finish it. Grab one dumbbell for your skater. I'm gonna grab a 12. You don't have to use a weight. But I want you to do a skater. Okay, get that leg behind. You can also tap it. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for you to go wide. Sometimes when we add a weight, we cut the skater short. I want you to use that inner and outer thigh. And you can't tell me you're not warm. So get down in that one-legged squat. Come on. Woo. Five seconds. You get a break. Top. One. Put it down. Take your break. I'll show you the last move. All right. So you're going to take one weight. I'm just going to show you with a 10. Weight at your chest. If you need to do a pullover, you can. I'm going to also show you an option. You can also do an in out and then go up. Okay. It's a little bit more advanced, but that's your seventh move. Seventh move. I'm not doing it now. I'm just showing you during your break. So don't do 15 of them. Okay. It's a sample. All right. All seven moves. Are we ready? Then you get a minute break and then we go all the way back up. 
Come on. Set your mind, set your intention. This is your workout. Ready? Go. We're doing this one again. If we're gonna do all seven moves again. From bottom to top. I have my feet wider, it feels a little bit harder for my core, but good for my hips. So every time you do it, maybe it feels different. You don't always have to come up with both arms. You can always come up with one, alternate it, and time, walk out. Punch. I'm gonna do one. Then I'm gonna punch the other arm. You don't have to jump. Come on. On time. Lateral lunge. Lateral raise, focus, breathe. You're gonna feel your core. Keep going. We have burpees. Anyone you want. Coming up. One more. Put them down, burpees. Make sure you don't come up here. Get all the way up. You can do a jack at the top. Sometimes that helps your alignment. Your chest is up for the jack, it's not here. Come on. Remember, you can tap out. Body weight cardio. Renegade row coming at you. Last one. Time, renegade row. Go. This one always gets me. It's hard to do when your heart rate is high. So take that knee when you need. I like the feet wide. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Use your back. Okay, to pull, not your hand. Use your back. Oh, good move. Time. Woo. Weighted cardio. One weight. Rotational squat jump. Now, you don't have to jump. Squat. I want you to look at my heels. All right. You can also hear. Come on. Either way, it's gonna get your heart rate up. Couple of things on this one. Your weight only comes up here. It's not going overhead. You can do it without a weight. Okay, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Sit up. Three. Tricep overhead. Extensions, I'm gonna do a sit up first, weight at my chest. I'm gonna show you option two. You do it with a pullover, it's a little easier. And now I'm gonna do the in and out, which is I think the hardest. I'm gonna bring the weights into your chest and do an in out, then put your feet down. And time, you get a minute break. Oh. I'm up functionally. All right. So I know I'm not giving you much uh, of a time for the body weight cardio and the one weight. If you don't like it, do the one before, okay? Or don't use the weight. You get a minute. We go from bottom to top, the whole, the whole shebang. It's gonna feel different. 
so this is gonna be your last time for the burpee curl press. So think about what are you gonna do with it? This is an active recovery. Notice I'm walking around. Stretching out some things. Woo. Woo. Start to work your way down to the floor. All right, I'm just gonna warn you, after this tricep thingy, we're going to a drop squat to press with hands on one dumbbell. Okay, so put that in your noggin. Put it in your noggin. Ready? Make it your own. Ready, 30 seconds. I'd like your feet down for the tricep overhead press because you're sitting up tall, okay? You're not leaning back for that one. You're sitting up. So your core really has to work to be straight. Ugh. You don't like that? Just do the sit up. Try not to look down. This is where shoulder mobility comes into play. Remember, you can be here. Finish it. If your weight's too light, if it feels too easy, get something else. All right, get one lighter weight. I'm getting a 10. Drop squat to jack. Here's your low. Go, if you know it, okay. Next time we do it, we're gonna only have the weight in one hand. But you can always sub this in. You can be here. Believe me, your heart rate's still gonna go up, right? How we doing? Five seconds. Renegade row coming. Stop. Renegade row. Oh, feels different. Three seconds. It's only one plank jack. I have to do this on my... Now I'm struggling to get that weight right under my shoulder. So just do your best. Come on, heart rate's high. We have the body weight cardio. What's it gonna be? I wish I knew. It's gonna be an animal crawl. <laughs> One more. No equipment. Clear your space. Animal crawl. Stay low. If you have room to go twice, go twice. You can go here. If I had room, I'd go here and then up. Sit into those heels, okay? This is your body weight cardio. I haven't done this one in a while, but I want you to bring your chest up. You can do one crawl or two. Try to stay low in those heels, okay? I'm gonna do one. Drop those hips. Good one for mobility. Last one, lateral raise, lateral lunge. Whew. Feeling hard after the cardio. Hard to do these compound moves when your heart rate's up. It all feels like cardio because it is. Good form. Use your core 100% of the time. Come on, finish your last one. Walk out, push up. Now, I eliminated the punch on that. So if you wanna just get more reps in, maybe you eliminate the punch. But I don't want you to think, oh, I only got to three push-ups. You know how many times we're doing this? I think the first time we did this, I only did one push up. So I stacked on this time. Uh, finish it. And then we have the burpee 
Get as many in as you can. Next one. Burpee. Curl press last time. Oh, go. Don't overthink it. Oh. We have a 30 second break. And then we go down again. And we have three minutes of work. Oh. Oh. Come on. Find something you do better here, okay? Maybe it's a softer landing. Oh, these 15s are killing me. I'm feeling my chest, biceps, shoulders. Finish it. Time. I'm opening my chest. Let my heart rate come down a little before we go down to the mat. You only get 30 seconds now. You don't get that minute anymore. But so it starts to feel better. This is when maybe you can go a little heavier or a little faster. I'm gonna take a heavier weight for this tricep move because it wasn't feeling challenging enough. And if you want to do skull crushers here, you can, okay? You do a skull crusher, do a straight up sit up. All right, ready? Go. You start wherever you want. You can start with a sit up. You mix it up. So the weight closer to your chest is a little harder. So we have a weighted cardio. It's gonna be a single right arm, drop squat to press. We're gonna keep it in the right arm. If you don't like it, do both hands on the dumbbell, or you can do maybe a clean and press alternate, or something else we did. Last one, All right. take that light dumbbell. Put in your right hand, drop, press harder. If you don't want to jump, you can maybe jump for this and tap out or just press it up if you don't want to do the jack. It's in your right hand. Um, what do we have? Renegade row after this. Your arm out. A lot of core here. Three, two, one. Whoa. Renegade. Oh, I'm going lighter. Go. Renegade row, plank jack, or knee in. You go. What do we have after this? <laughs> we have a body weight cardio. It's going to be 180s or squat jumps, okay? Trying to give you a little heads up. Try not to yank the weight up. Pull. Remember if you're standing, two alternating rows, two knees up in front, arms at your side or over your head. Last one. Oh. 180s. Drop squat in between. You don't have to. You can low impact, okay? You're still gonna get your heart rate up. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You can do squat jumps here. The jump. But you can do that with a drop squat. Two, one. Lateral raise. Oh. Oh. In the walk out. <laughs> How we doing? Second to last time for this baby. Keep going. AirPod. Thank you. 
Gone. Step out wider, make those legs work. More. Walk out. Last time. I'm gonna try to stay on my toes. That was one. Now I'm gonna eliminate the punch. I'm gonna try to get three or four again. You don't have to do the jump. The quicker you walk out, the quicker you get to that push up. Remember, you can do a blast off push up on your knees. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Stretch. Okay. We did all seven. Now we just did six. Now we're going to do five. So no more. I'm going to stretch here. Stretch my abs. We can do a little baby cobra here. We can do a full. I feel like I don't need that right now. Let's do a little back extension. Ooh. All right. We ready for that tricep. I'm going to give you an option. All right. So you can do three soul crushers and a crunch. Okay. You can do that if you want. Okay. Um, it's up to you. It's all good. You're getting core and you're getting triceps. Are we ready for five moves? So we have a weighted cardio after this. It's gonna be a weight in your left hand for that um, drop squat to prep jack. Yeah, left hand. There we go. Now, I don't want you to let that weight fall. I want you to go slow. Again, we're doing this many, many times. Nice slow roll down there. I'm gonna show you the in and out on this one. In, out, and bring it in. Get that weight in your left hand. We'll think of something new to do next time. I have it on my list. Ready? Drop. Really, it is like a curl press. You can be here, or maybe a heel raise. You make it your own. I know not everybody loves a press jank for their back. You really have to make sure your core is really turned on when you're jumping out. And you can be here too. You don't have to go overhead. Any of the weighted options is good. Get low. Three, two, renegade row. Ah, no, no, no. Yeah, renegade row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one that takes me the longest to get into. <laughs> I'm gonna do the plank jack this time. And I'm doing the renegade on my knees. If I feel safe for my core, I'm gonna do it. Keep those hips level though. Keep that core turned on. What do we have? <sighs> Good job. All right. What are we gonna do? Drop squat to jack. Jack. We can do one jack, one drop squat. Go do whatever you want. You can make me turn it. You could really work your speed. You don't have to turn. Get the hands to the floor. Hop. 
We just did a jack burpee, same thing. Last one, kind of the same thing. Lateral raise, lateral lunge. Last time. Last time's the best time. Come on. Come on. Don't round those shoulders. Don't let those weights pull you down. Use your inner thigh. Come on. It's not about speed on these compound moves, but keeping a pace, keeping control and have good form. Last one, put them down with control. All right. I'm gonna get a drink. We have four moves. This is when you start to see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right. Whew. Sit up, tricep overhead press. The weighted cardio. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. We're gonna have two weights. I'm just showing you. I'm sorry, one weight. I'm sorry, one weight. Okay, let me behind it. Lateral hop to the right, queen and press. Lateral hop to the left. If you don't like that, do a low squat. And then queen and press left. All right, just so you know, just so you know. All right, Woo. You can also use two weights pushed together, which I'm gonna take two tens. Are we ready? All right, four moves. So we have the weighted cardio after this, okay? The queen and press lateral hop. Ready? Let's go. I'm amping it up with my weight, so I probably won't get as many reps in. Don't forget that initial push up is like a little chest press. I'm gonna do the in and out this time. In and out, push up. Three, two, one. See, I only had time for one there. Ah, uh, little wrap. Ready? Right arm. So whatever arm you clean and press, you jump. Love this song. Me vibes to finish strong. We're gonna repeat this move. So next time, so maybe I think I'm gonna go a little heavier next time. Hip hop to hip it. Ooh, I started soon. Embarrassed myself. I don't really get embarrassed. Get off. Last one. Renegade row. I'm gonna try to stay on my toes. Hip hop, the hip it to hip it to the hip hip hop. You don't stop a rocket to the bang bang. Go get to up jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie to be. That's all I can get out. <laughs> Forgot what I was doing. Come on up. Full burpees, or you can do swimming here. You can do swimming there. Come on. If you want to add 180 turn to it, I'm going to do that because I ran out of room. Remember, you can football run that if you don't want a 180 degree turn. That I was doing there. I'm so into this song. <laughs> Last one. Time. <laughs> that was it, right? Four moves. <laughs> All right. 30 seconds. 
All right. So we drop off the, the cardio. I think I did everything on that list. If you have one that you love, you know, if you repeat this, I am gonna put up public on YouTube. You can always do the bear runs. Again, you can do the animal crawl if you like that. Just know when you do the renegade row, you're gonna be on your arms for a while. But maybe that's the time you stand. And then you do, um, you know, the standing option that I showed. <clears throat> Talking too much, as usual. All right, ready? Sit up, go. How to adjust my feet there. So, remember, if you mess up something, don't be too hard on yourself. I know you're probably not, but if you're like me, I kind of overthink. Oh, I could have done this better. I could have done that better. But you did it, okay? I try to remind myself of that. I'll tell you an example in my own life. I ran an 18 mile run in Long Beach Island and time. All right, get that heavier weight, clean and press. I'll tell you when we're done with this set. All right, I'm gonna clean and press left, lateral hop, I'm going heavier. We're gonna repeat this one. You can do it better, maybe lighter or heavier. Jump, so if you clean and press left, you step or jump left. One weight is all you need for these body weight, I'm sorry, weighted cardio moves. We have the renegade row, it's the last time we do that. Come on. I'll finish that story. And time, renegade row, last time. I'm gonna show the standing option. Ready? I showed it only one time. You can be here, okay? You can be here. You're not running. Or, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it. Wait overhead. That's the only time I'm gonna be doing that one, the 15s. <laughs> Finish it. Remember, you got your renegade rows. Standing cardio. I'm, yep, standing cardio. And time. I don't know why I just did that last one. Take a break. So, getting back to our mental health here. And that's why I'm saying this one. So, I ran this 18 mile run. It was like a training run, but it was fun because it was in Long Beach Island. It was fun to reach a bunch of people. They do it every year in October. A lot of people do it before the New York City Marathon. And it was rainy, cold, not my favorite to run in. And it wasn't even, there's no sun. It was just cloudy and a little chilly and then drizzle here and there. And I felt horrible. I felt horrible. And at the end of it, I finished. It wasn't a horrible time, but I struggled to finish. And I was like, that sucked. All right, are we ready? Go and I'll finish my story. 30 seconds. So we only have two moves. It only did two that. But I beat myself up after I finished. I remember getting changed. And after the race, I went to somebody's house to change, shower, what have you. And I was really down. Now, I should have been thrilled that I just ran 18 miles. I didn't stop. But I felt horrible. Like, why do I run? Have I ever run? Why did it feel so bad? I could have done better, faster. Finish your last one. Come on up. Whew. One weight. I'm gonna get a 15. Put it right there. Squat, pick it up. Jump. Mm -hmm. You don't have to jump. Oh, I just dropped my weight. You can jump with the weight and you can jump without the weight. So one jump or one squat with the weight. One jump without it. If you want, you can go to your toes. So my point is, thinking about it now, many years later, I think about that moment a lot. I've been thrilled. 
and I should have been feeling positive. And maybe I learned from it, but I was really down. You should feel your inner thighs here. Last one, finish it. So, rest. We're gonna finish up with the tricep and then we're gonna stretch. So my point is, don't beat yourself up. <laughs> Think about the positives. Because I use that moment, I think about it a lot, and it helps me not be so negative or not be so, not embarrassed about things, but like, oh, I tried something, I fell, I failed at it. You, you try, you learn something, okay? So if you set out to do something, you learn from it, you, you tried it. You weren't sitting on the couch. Are you ready? Breathe, go, this is our best set. Now I have my 15 again. I'm gonna try to do the in and out. And then sit up. So I really do want your heels down for the overhead tricep. Back should be straight on those because you're really feeling your core. Hollow, push up. I am really feeling my core on this. You can even hold it there. Bye, Suzanne. Have a good weekend. You have to jump off. Last one, you did it, great job. You did it, and time. I don't know if she's jumping off or trying to get my attention. <laughs> All right, awesome job. Get a drink, I'm just gonna check and make sure everything's okay. Okay, she just had to jump off. Sometimes when I look up at the screen, I don't know if I've lost audio or something, but all done. Okay, get a drink. I'll give you a, for instance, in my own career. So I'm starting a four week beginner Pilates program on Zoom starting on Monday. Did I market it as well as I could have? Probably not. It's my first go at something like this. But I'm trying, giving it a whirl. And my mindset is if I get one person or no people, <laughs> I'm gonna record them, put them on my website, and have them there, anybody to purchase. Or I can put on my socials and sell it there. So I feel like as long as I have that mindset, I'm gonna be okay. If I said, oh, I wanted, I, want, I won't be happy unless 20 people sign up and I get five, I'm gonna be like, what a failure am I? Why did I even do this? Why do I even teach classes? <laughs> Those thoughts do go through my mind. So, just think about things to keep your mental health protected. Let's go down to all fours. I'm really rampant today, but sometimes I feel somebody needs to hear it. And even sometimes I feel I need to hear it. Let's do a little cat and cow. Okay round and arch take your time with it you guys did amazing i think i got everything in i feel like i forgot something now but <laughs> i think we did it <laughs> all right we're gonna go to a little thread the needle. So bring your hips back a little bit. If you have a little um, Pilates ball, you can put it between your knees. It just kind of helps your um, core connection and your pelvic floor. Hips back a little bit, give it a gentle squeeze. We're gonna take one arm up, open up. Okay, hold it there. This might feel uncomfortable to you. Your hips are back a little bit, thread under, and then come right back up and open up further. So if you struggle with, keep going with this, if you struggle with shoulder mobility, in say for instance, the tricep overhead extension we did, that requires a lot of shoulder mobility because you want your elbows high. This one can help with that. And you can also bring it down, hold. You can also um, shorten the lever on that thread. So you can put your hand by your head. Whew. Release it. Nice stretch for your shoulder. We're going to go to the other side and I'll show you that option. So you can bring your fingertips 
here and open and then just crunch. Okay, so you can do whichever one suits you the best. I do like that ball between your knees or pillow because um, even though it's you're not really squeezing into it hard, it does help with your core connection on this one. And that also can help your core function, your pelvis, pelvic floor function better. Hold this one. Pelvic health is important throughout our lives, women and men. Release it. All right, come on to your box. We're gonna do a shoulder bridge to get that spine kind of quieted. I'm gonna keep the ball here. Arms at your side, we're gonna just peel the spine up and then press. Okay, try to peel up slowly, tilt the pelvis, and then just come up to your shoulder blades. Really feel the quietness of your body and the, the stillness of your mind and the quality of your breath. You know, working out, sometimes we just do it when we don't even feel like it. You know, maybe you're doing this workout or you did this workout. You're just like, oh, I just want to do it and get it over with. Totally can happen. I don't go into every workout like, yeah, I'm going to crush this. Sometimes I'm like, I'm going to do it. And whatever I do is good. Even if I don't finish it or if I cry through it or <laughs> whatever, you know, you tried it. That's what building a consistent routine is. We're going to release it down and we're just going to open the arms to its T. Another good one for your shoulders. And we're going to bring our legs up to tabletop and just drop the knees side to side. If you don't like having your feet off the floor, keep your toes down. The goal is to keep your shoulder blades down as you bring the knees to one side. So when I bring my knees to the right, I'm working to keep that left shoulder down. So this is having the toes down a little gentler. You don't have to drop your knees all the way down. This is going to make me cry. Probably going to get kicked off YouTube. I don't really know if this is uh, <laughs> one of those license-free uh, <laughs> songs. <laughs> Probably not. Hopefully it is. <laughs> you should feel your shoulders and your chest open here. Bring your knees back. Take that ball out of your hands. Bring your right leg up and just gently bring the leg in. Stretch your hamstring. Hold it there. Now you can keep this leg where it is, or you can extend it. Hi, Jean. This is the last stretch anyway. Other side. Pull the knee in. Oh boy. <laughs> and then there were two. Stretch that hamstring of the other leg. Again, this leg can be long on the floor, feeling that open hip flexor. You can keep it here. You can take that ankle, circle it around. Hug both knees in. Roll yourself up. Come over in a down dog. Lift those hammies one more time. Walk your hands in. Roll it up. Big shoulder roll, big arm circle. Open the chest. Give yourselves a big hand. You can rock it in a little bit. Give it. All right, you guys did amazing. I'm gonna turn the music off and I'm gonna turn the recording off. Oh, I think that song was, um, was good. It was a, um, on that playlist, I'm so happy. All right, I'm going to shut the recording off. Great job, everybody. If you are interested in my four-week Pilates program, I'll put a link below, and I'll be I'll be talking about it. It starts Monday, June 3rd. We're in 2024, if you're watching this much later in the future. Um, and uh, early bird pricing ends tonight. So I'll talk about that a little bit later, and I will upload something to my YouTube shorts. All right.